And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Buried Sun Disc. We're going to be playing an Ascended Sun Disc deck. We're going with the Ascended Champions, Azir, Renekton, and Nasus, and playing them with the Buried Sun Disc. Going to try to um, go ahead and restore this Sun Disc if we can. Uh, I, I always like these decks, they're really fun to play. Um, this is a new, the newest updated version that I have for the deck. It's still a little bit of a work in progress. Um, this was a, a donation deck that a viewer asked for me to um, update the Sundisk deck and uh, see, like, how can it win in the current metagame, you know, build a, a new Sundisk deck. And so this is what we got. So what we're really concerned about with this deck is, is winning against the aggro decks. The aggro decks can just go underneath you. And that's that's uh, the worry, uh, to be honest. And so that's, that's what we are going to maybe struggle with against more than other decks. But... Um, playing some different cards we didn't play before. Like before I used to play like three Sand Spinner, three Golden Ambassador. And you remember I, I went to only playing just Azir and Nasus the last couple of times we played this. But I'm going back to having Renekton in here again. Um, kind of, I want it, I don't know. I kind of want it, I just want the power that Renekton also, that has like its ability to close out games against aggro. It's a good blocker, you know, being a, a four, 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 four. I'm um, going to go ahead and try that this card again. Uh, going less Quicksand, I love Quicksand, but it's just so expensive for, for how fast these decks are. So we're going to be playing like a Scrying Sands instead. Um, you know, getting that minus two, minus zero right away. Because I'm going back to Renekton, I'm going to be playing Rock Hopper in here um, to pair along with Renekton as the two drop. Also a Chronomancer. So, you know, getting a fourth two drop blocker between three Rock Hopper, one Chronomancer. We had just three before. Merciless Hunter, of course, is a new addition to the deck. We haven't played this deck since Merciless Hunter has been printed. That also, Merciless Hunter uh, replaces the three, the esteemed Arrow Fan, which was a fine card, but I mean, it's just not on the Merciless Hunter level, and also kind of lets us uh, play less Sand Spinner and everything too. The other day we played a Sivir deck, where at the top end of the Sivir deck. We had Boomerang Blade and Spirit Fire, and both Boomerang Blade and Spirit Fire really overperformed. And so, like, that's what I wanted to do, basically. I I really, like, these two cards both looked great, and so I wanted to play two of each of these. And it's really the Boomerang Blade made me want to play Renekton again. I guess that's, to kind of back up a little bit, that's kind of why I wanted to put Renekton back in here, because of Boomerang Blade. Um, like, where it can get two strikes for the Renekton and really help level up the Renekton fast, dealing the 12 plus damage. Of course, it can also really help level Nasus, Nasus up fast too. Um, but yeah, so, so we're gonna play Boomerang Blade in here and then also Spirit Fire for the aggro decks. So we'll see, so less Siphoning Strike, you know, kind of trimmed Siphoning Strike, trimmed Quicksand, that kind of stuff. So let's see how it does. I don't know, like um, this is what we're gonna do. There's a lot, of, a lot of good cards. As you can see, like kind of in the mid game, we're playing lots of two ofs because this is kind of a, a mid range deck that really plays different games depending on what's happening. And so you wanna have uh, different tools. You're not, you're not just doing like the same, you're not trying to curve out and do the same thing round one through five every single game. So uh, we got a few different tools in here. So let's go play our five games in ranked. I'm, I'm excited about it. I hope it does well because uh, this is definitely a deck that I like playing. So even if it doesn't do the best, it's a it's an enjoyable deck to play. And so let's let's uh, play some games. Hey, Rois. Zoe vibe. Okay. Let's see if we can restore the sun disc. Ride negation, siphoning strike gone. Not gonna lie, I kind of want to keep the siphoning strike, but. We should probably mulligan him. Cool. We got some champs. I I've played a lot of Barry Sun Disc now. I don't I don't know how many games. You know, uh, lots of games of Barry Sun Disc. And I don't know if I I've never seen Barry Sun Disc in my opening hand, or after I mulligan, it's never showed up. So it's, it's always been like that that card that's not in my hand. So I, I wonder if it's even allowed to be in your opening hand. Like, it may not be. Oh, no, 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 no. Wrong card. Sorry, I was just talking. No, I definitely want to play Merciless Hunter on the Zoe. Whoops. Wrong card. This is why you don't just like talk and, and play at the same time. <laughs> it's difficult. In Shurima's name. I call this the Man, 
Man, that hurts. That's going to make life a lot more difficult. So next round, next round we'll have Rock Hopper and oh, Rock Hopper and Merciless Hunter. If it's made of sand, I can write it. I'm giving them this extra card. Didn't Merciless Hunter before? Because yeah, even like like I, you just don't even really want to play Azir that early because you want to you want to play Azir after you know you want to play Azir once like Azir is leveled up. Like that was that was not what I wanted to play on round three. That was not what I wanted to play on round three. So just two mana. I hope they can't stop siphoning strike for two mana. I'd kind of be surprised if they could. Yeah, that's true. We did, did get a hush out of their hand, which is amazing against Nasus. And very good against Renekton as well. This is bad. Yes, this is really bad. But they have leveled up Zoe now. I... Threw this game away with that round three play. The opponent played it really well, though. But I, I, I wish we could just do do this game all over again. What's up, Saigumba? Hope you're doing well. ASI, I'm doing very, very well today. Thank you. Thanks for joining the stream. Alright, NASA's getting some... Getting some level. Let's actually draw first, then predict. So we just have more information of like for our predict, instead of predicting and putting a card on top and then drawing two. Um, we probably need to take the Spirit Fire, to be honest. I'm worried about them like just going wide with a bunch of elusives because remember they have the Zoe level up, which there should be like something somewhere that like shows that they have like you know like, something should like pop up like in the corner, something that shows that they have like the Zoe level up. Ability. For now. Yep, bunch of elusives. This attack kind of kills them or something like that. Yeah, I got boomerang blades in here. We, if we lose this game, it's you know it's certainly going to be because of the round three. I would just mess that up so bad. Or I just played the wrong card. It's not like it. when I say I messed that up so bad. I just played the wrong card. Okay. You attack. You attack. Um. 
I can I can challenge the Solari Priestess to try to level up Renekton. That allows them to have the 5-3 block my 2-3. I kind of feel like I'm supposed to just challenge, like, one of these other cards, though. Even though Renekton will die. But then their 5-3 probably dies also. Um, because, like, like, assuming they just Mystic Shot Renekton... I think they get to block with this. Actually, let's do this. Alright, we are going to do this. Because this is, they're just going to Mystic Shot Renekton, right? So this has both the Elusives dying. So that's good. I'd love to draw a Boomerang Blade again, if we can. Ugh. But yeah, they just go elusive kill. This one really should not have been a loss. Man. That's too bad. My spirit shines. That is too bad. So, let's move on here. Go just trade Nasus. Return to dust. Yeah, so I, I assume they were going to Mystic Shot and kill the Renekton, right? So it wasn't, it wasn't, we wouldn't create two lethal threats because I knew they were going to Mystic Shot that. Um, I guess we have to trade away Nasus. I guess it's the thing to do. Renekton plus Ruin Runner next round. A couple of pretty big overwhelms. Ooh, and Ride of Negation? I'll play this right, right away with this Azir. And then... I mean, I guess Ruin Runner is just better to play than Renekton. Because we can't challenge. It's just like 6-6 six, six without Spell Shield or 6-4 with Spell Shield. I, mean, I guess take the Spell Shield. So the Vi gave all their things tough. Don't think there's any particular order that matters for us attacking. I guess. Send in blood. We can send like those first because then they have to block them because they're lethal. Because like this isn't a. You know, like they're not playing like the lifesteal barrier card, right? Like so like where that can matter. Star shaping. I can't stop star shaping with right negation. Right, everything in Targon is burst. But right now, this is still, you know, like, that's three, that's six, that's eight. Then we have three over, or two overwhelm. So we have ten total. So one Guiding Touch doesn't save them. Destroy a Mana Gem. And unless they're playing something weird. All right, that's, that's game. All right, still came back to win, even with the mess up on round three that I complained about a whole lot. We still got there. Ruin Runner. Look upon our GG's. Look what we have built. Okay. 
this is the kind of matchup that we really worry about playing a sun disc deck is like how can you stop the, these super fast aggro decks it's not easy at all i think this is you know gonna give us a good a good chance we have the spirit fire that card's pretty decent so we'll have like chronomancer with exhaust It'd be pretty nice also i don't think that this is a, a sun disc deck like i just don't think you even play the sun disc to be honest in these kind of like really fast aggro games that one spell mana is critical. Uh, yeah, we just gotta do it. That card's too good. And that's that's what I'm talking about. That spell mana is critical. Kill Green Glade Duo for one. But especially like when we're looking at Spirit Fire, right? Like Spirit Fire, so ex um, it's not safe. so expensive. Uh, I kind of want to just take one. Yeah, I'm gonna just take that. If that's a Sand Soldier, I'm blocking. But it's not a Sand Soldier. Man, they are all about aggro. All right, we're not taking Preservarium. Are we taking Sand Spinner? No kind of expensive. We have a lot of kind of expensive cards. student spirit fire not great against sparring student because it you know it like, gets all the health and then this is at the end of the round deal too i'm gonna try this i don't know they play another thing actually now let's pass because they could just play a bounce card now they can't bounce you know, now it still strikes two things. So now this this is perfect. Dude, Boomerang, Boomerang Blade is insane. That's the card we were missing. Next time. That's the card we were missing. See what we see. What do we got? Six mana? Not sure if I can play stuff pre-combat or not. Like, Does make it really difficult for them to play the, the five mana unit? Ah, uh, Ribbon Dancer. Not bad. Oh, because the Blade Dance eats up that the Rock Hopper? It can be undone. Gross. I guess I shouldn't be trading those off when I plan Spirit Fire next round. Okay, this is a bad attack by me. Yeah, this is my plan of Spirit Fire next round. Okay, never mind. Bad bad attack by me. So this is where we can play it. The Sun Disc just doesn't matter, but we can play it now because we just waste that mana anyway. Yeah, that's a bad attack. So how do they stop the 8-8? They have one card left? How do they stop an 8-8 overwhelm at 6 life? It's just gotta be homecoming, right? And then I have, but I have like, ride negations for homecoming, so if they have like, double homecoming, I still have two ride negations. Yeah. 
Okay. Good job, Renekton. Boomerang, Blade, MVP. All right, Thresh, Nasus. So would you rather have Shadow Isles and Thresh with Nasus or just stay with Shirima and play a bunch of other cool cards with Nasus? I'm going to say let's stay with Shirima and play a bunch of other cool cards with Nasus. Take two or give him a slay. Oh, never mind, not an option. So they're gonna play this and save a spell mana. Oh, Reaper? Because I was basically gonna say, like, no matter what I rock hopper is not good. Oh, I should just exhaust and kill that Reaper. What am I doing? That's what I was basically going to say is that, uh, you know, like, because I thought that if I went to Rock Hopper, like, the two, you know, because I was thinking about their two drops. Like, it's either Fading Icon. Um, either Fading Icon or Curse Keeper. And, like, neither of those are, like, that great for the, the Vulnerable. Azir's Command! Basically, this, this Merciless Hunter costs me one mana to play right now. And what, what I, do I want to spend one mana to put Merciless Hunter into play? Or would I rather save it and save the Vulnerable for later? I think we just play it. We love it when they run. So I'm kind of assuming they pass. I don't think they play anything. Oh, I guess they play that. That's a good card. Cool. That's a good trade for me. Champion! Masses. We not... We haven't slayed anything yet? Nasus is going to be 7-7 seven, seven big or not. I don't know. I kind of just have to do this. This is not... This is not that good for us. Yeah, it's really not very good for us. Fresh is awesome. <laughs> horrible. So yeah, maybe just play one ride negation. Um, maybe play another one of the two threes instead of Rock Hopper. Rock Hopper just can't just die to Vile Feast. It was just uh, it was, that was real bad. Anyway, new match. Strike has to go, but I guess we can keep everything else. I mean, I like how the Rock Hoppers can block Fearsome. The Emperor commands. The land obeys. I do like that. Azir's command. 
All right, round one, decimate. Boomerang Blade is fantastic, as always. Or at least it will be when it works. Everybody's talking about pride. Shivana's like, I do my serving with pride, and and Bakai's like, well, pride's gonna be your end. All about pride these days. Pride this, pride that. I don't think I attack and have Sharp Sight kill the Ruin Runner. Not whenever we, like, bo Boomerang Blade makes the Ruin Runner just too valuable. Alright, so assume we're going to quicksand this round. Yeah, we can play Chronomancer. See the Chronomancer or Preservarium. Let's play the Chronomancer. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. They really want to kill this Azir. Could also kind of see letting it die. Let's save Quicksand. No, it's got to be better to have Azir in play, right? Nine, ten, four, eleven. Okay, so we know we have Golden Ambassador on top, so I cannot play Golden Ambassador plus Boomerang Blade, no matter whether I play Preservarium or not. I basically let that happen because I don't know. It's just going to be like a pain to to keep saving it. Quicksand can be pretty valuable. So just decide just to keep Quicksand. We live in times. See, we'll just get new Azir. That's a 3-7. It wasn't going to be... Like, we weren't on like a fast track to level up that Azir anyway. It wasn't like we were about to level it up. Um Don't touch it. You block there, you block there. Still just let this happen. No, we don't we don't have any ascendant surprise in here. Listen to me. Don't touch it. So I kinda wanna kill like obviously if I kill Blue Sentinel then they get a really soul next round, but I kinda wanna kill it because uh, then it makes Boomerang Blade better getting that thing out of here. All right, so we're in a little bit of a conundrum there. My desert, my rules. Like a, really in soul, possibly next round, but better. Better Boomerang Blade now. Sun's beneath me, and wind's behind me. Justice will to stupid. You're at eight, so zero will be nine. Hmm. Oh yeah, scrying sands. Scrying sands does not get rid of spell shield on a really soul either. Oh, a second boomerang blade. I don't know how many we've slain. Why doesn't this ever tell you how many we've slain? <laughs> I don't know how good you are, Nasus. This is tough. I don't know. I love Boomerang Blade and Nasus. I love them both. I don't know. That stupid dragon chow. No, it doesn't, doesn't tell you how big the Nasus is. Saw that a mile away. 
forged in dragon fire. Sharima, your emperor has returned. Your favorite star. I created it. Maybe they need to go for the Nasus. Doing that to level up a zero course. I mean, zero's not really that important, is he? Is this worth a right negation? Come, we have an empire to build. Not really. Soul just requires so many cards, it's unbelievable <laughs> to try to kill this thing. A 10 10 with the spell shield and everything, it's just impossible to kill. I think they get to just challenge that thing right away. It's, it just requires so many cards. And then, of course, it just you know, it obviously creates a whole bunch of cards too, right? Because they have they have multiple free, really powerful celestial cards too from this early in soul. This is just this champion is too good. I know it costs 10 mana, but still. Now they'll pay attention. All right, two and two. Okay, an all in Fiora deck. I have less quicksand than normal. I only got one. So that's going to be a card that I'm going to really want to see. Um, I kind of like this hand. I guess we don't need Nasus, but... I kind of like this hand. Because I want units that are not like necessarily like really easy for Fiora to kill, right? So we don't want like small units. Love Preservarium. Shapestone's awesome. And so that's why I like the, the Gold Ambassador draws the champion with the plus two, plus two. That plus two, plus two, you know, just makes it more difficult for Fiora to kill. No, really, in Souls, I guess it was nerfed a little bit. Yeah, that's true. I was going to say it was never nerfed, but then, yeah, I, then I remembered. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it, it, it started where you only needed 20 power on board to level up, and now it's 25 to level up. All right, so not playing anything this round, so we can save spell mana. Strike quickly, strike deftly. Yeah, I mulligan the Nasus, because realizing, yeah, it's just going to be super small in this matchup. But then we got it right back. It's kind of unfortunate we drew both Renekton's, because Renekton is what I wanted to draw off Golden Ambassador. Like, that's that was, like, the whole point of Golden Ambassador, was to grab Renekton. <laughs> so that's... Uh, that's pretty unfortunate because Nasus is too small, and you don't want to like you don't want to attack with a zero in play because a zero putting the sand the sand soldiers you don't want to do that. We kind of need quicksand though, right? Because quicksand can break up a barrier. It's gonna be all about barriers for my opponent. Nothing to hold me back. Oh. 
Chase what you want without mercy. It's all about barriers. We're not going to make it easy on them. We may lose, but if we lose, it's not going to be easy. And strike. Basically, do they have, you know, four barrier cards? That was their first barrier card. Second barrier card. I never hope try me. Used to used to play three quicksands in this deck. I'd love to have three quicksands right about now. Uh, besides that, siphoning strike, boomerang, boomerang blade, those kind of cards. Can maybe help out. Yeah, the rest of the metagame, it's, it's tough to play all those quicksands. All right. I guess they got me. Well, I tried making it tough on them. Just the way I like it. GG's. Yeah, I mean, I liked the Chronomancer. The Chronomancer looked good. I kind of want more Chronomancer. Rockhopper was fine, but, like, not really that great. And just, like, having units in this deck isn't always the easiest. Um, Riot Negation didn't look very good. And so, like, I think that doesn't need to be a two. I think that's, like, one small change we'd make. Like, let's get rid of a Riot Negation, get a second Chronomancer in here. They can kind of help out. Because as far as card advantage goes, you know, like, we're looking at, like, maybe Ruinous Path. But it's it's not that easy to slay stuff. But yeah, let's let's get let's do that. Like I want like another another two drop for just another blocker and things like that early. And Chronomancer just helps set up the, the hand and everything. Chronomancer did look good. So that's one really small change I know, but that, that's one small change that I think could help out. Riot negation, we had way too many riot negations all the time. Let's get rid of get rid of one of those. Help like the Chronomancer should just help out. Help find us help us find our champions, our boomerang blade, our spirit fire. Siphoning strike, you know, like whatever we need. It even helps find the right negation. It can find the quicksand if we just randomly play against the matchup like that again. Um, all that kind of stuff. Um, could go three Chronomancer, two Rockhopper. There's different times where Rockhopper is pretty good, though. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to keep it like that. But let's let's get a Chronomancer in here. But, all right, so there we go. There's there's our Sun Disc deck. Sometimes we get to restore the Sun Disc. Sometimes we don't. This time today no restoration of the sun disc but i think our deck felt you know fairly competitive we just kind of had like some weird games like where we just kind of lose to some you know overpowered champions <laughs> basically uh with fiora really and so fiora just like your game's really weird but 
um, yeah, you know, we just kind of got eaten up by three champions. You know, one game it was Thresh, one game was Ruling Soul, and then the last game was uh, Fiora there. I like it. I think I think it, de it definitely felt competitive, though. I, I like the the list. So as far as Sundisk de decks go, trying to play it in ranked, I recommend giving this a try, and I would really like the feedback from y'all on YouTube, because I know there's a lot of people looking for the Sundisk decks. Um, give this one a try with this new metagame, and let me know in the comments, because, you know, like, I can't play as many games as everybody else can also, like, you know, all combined together. So uh, give me that feedback. Let me know if any other uh, changes or things you're struggling with or things that the deck does particularly well that you enjoy. Um, always love seeing that. All right, but that's going to be it here for our Ascended Sun Disc deck. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.